Hey y'all, this is Rachel from Cute Apron Cooking. We're not actually gonna be cooking anything today, but I have a fantastic haul for you. So I've been putting this haul off for like a month now. It's been sitting on my couch, so I have finally decided to do the video. Every year, students from the school ring the bell for the Salvation Army outside of Walmart. And the guy from the Salvation Army called the school and said he was needing to clear out a warehouse and that the students and faculty from the school could come take whatever they wanted for free. So you best believe I took advantage of that and got some stuff for free. I wish I had taken some footage of this warehouse because it was packed wall to wall, ceiling to floor with stuff, like stuff was everywhere. But I was so busy taking stuff, I forgot to record any footage inside the warehouse. We were all taking stuff that we wanted and you couldn't even tell anything was taken out of the warehouse. There was so much stuff. At one point I almost got embarrassed because I was taking so much, but he told us to come take whatever we wanted, so I did. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some of the items that aren't really that impressive, but are gonna be useful to me. So this is like a food saver and it has specialty little Ziploc bags or specialty food saver bags, not Ziploc bags. And I'm guessing you just charge this little device up and there's a place right here. And I think you just vacuum seal these bags. I don't really know how it works, but it, it looks pretty cool. So I picked it up. I'd say I could probably get the bags for pretty cheap and uh, get more use out of it. But they're very useful because we always like to hang things on our front door for like whatever season it is. So these will come in handy. Next, we have this beautiful pitcher. Okay, so in my apple fritter and apple julep video, I had a glass container that I put the julep in. The day after that video, I had like a full container of the julep and I dropped it on the floor, broke the container and lost the julep. So that was a sad day. But now I have one in its place and it's kind of cute. Hopefully I won't drop it too. I got this cup. It looked interesting in case I ever get really thirsty. Rachel has a fascination with large cups. <laughs> she likes them so much that she even used for a time, I don't know, what was it, like two or three days in a row that she used the glass part of my French press maker, coffee maker, and she just filled it with ice and water and had a large straw sticking out of it. So, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the cup she has now is much larger, but I mean, I hope she decides to use that instead of this all the time. Okay. Just kidding, you can use my French press anytime you Yes, want thank you so much. You're welcome. So the next item is a microwavable rice cooker. It looks old, but it doesn't look like it's been used very much. It has a measuring cup with it and a little spoon and a steaming basket. Next item is a little Tupperware three compartment food tray. I guess to take your lunch to work. Except my lunch is always at work since I make the food. Hello? 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 Where are you? I'm in the dark. You can't see me, I'm camouflaged. <laughs> Our neighbors are crazy. Hey, Rachel. What? I'll take some of those steak sliders next time. Okay. Yeah. Yep, they were really good. <laughs> I'm actually recording a video right now. So leave me alone. <laughs> I'm trying to record. Can you be quiet? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Her food is poison. Don't eat it. Wow. Okay, this is... I think it's safe. Okay, 
Next little item is a core or a melon baller, whichever one you want to use it for. These are super cute. Um, I guess this might be like a little fruit tray. I'm not exactly sure what to use this for, but I like the design on the inside. So I have the, the tray, the bigger bowl, and it came with three smaller bowls. Next is this bottle. I grabbed this because I like glass things and this was like interesting looking. Where are we going to put all this stuff? It's not as if we have an abundance of storage areas. The cork is stuck in it, but it would be probably pretty easy to get that out if I wanted to put like flowers or something simple in it. A single flower or something like that would be super cute, but I also like the simplicity of just the, the bottle, the vase, whatever this is, because it's, it's an interesting shape. So we may just leave it right there. This little basket, it's so unique. It would make a perfect little fruit basket or a granola bar basket. Whatever you need this to be, it can be that basket for that item. It could be a hairbrush basket. I thought maybe Hannah could use it for her schoolwork. Really? Yeah. I've been looking at it and I'm like, I really want to use that, but I just left it alone because I didn't know, you know. So it's really squishy, like it's almost like a beanbag texture and then it's got the hard work service. She could use it for her school or if when I'm making the menu for the school, I could use it. So we'll both get to use this. Guys, I got this cake carrier for free. Obviously because this whole haul is for free. But this is a $20 cake carrier, like if you bought it new from Walmart. And it's in a really nice condition. Like it's not scratched up or cut or anything. Whenever I give away my food from the cooking shows, I can use this and carry it around and give it to people. Look at the shape. Like I picked these up because of the shape. Um, I think these will make really cute uh, bowls to put maybe uh, pine cones and scented berries in to make like a potpourri for your house. I think it might actually be a punch bowl. I'm not sure, but you can use it for whatever you want to. This will be a perfect bowl for like vegetable dip or fruit dip for the holidays. Like have a little tray of fruit or vegetables and then your dip in here. This is just a simple 9 by 13 pan, nothing special. This whole box is full of glass. <laughs> this thing here, I guess we're gonna call it a fish bowl. I picked this bowl up because it has like the neat little designs down the side. That's super neat. But that would make a really neat fish bowl for real. A little white baking dish. This looks like it's, it might be kind of old, like on the older side, but it's the um, anchor glassware. And it looks pretty neat. It's a nice little casserole dish more glass like i anytime i can get glass discounted i do or get it for free because if you buy glass bowls in the store they cost quite a bit of money look at this little cute bowl hannah thinks this belongs in like the medieval times so i'm not exactly sure what we could use it for i just thought it was interesting oh wait 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 i got it it actually goes with this i think i think it's a chip and dip platter a medieval chip and dip platter. I have three of these platters. I don't, I don't know what for. I don't know. A lot of this stuff I'm probably going to end up taking down to the school cafeteria. That's why I got so much kitchen stuff. I don't need it here at my house, but we can definitely use it at the school. I love it. It's a glass plate. I love it so much. This is like a gigantic punch bowl. It's super nice. Probably gonna keep this here at our trailer because you could use it as a decorative bowl or as a bowl for the kitchen. It can go with my vase. More glass. Three of these little scalloped edged plates. Perfect for putting like little party finger foods on. A pot. This is perfect for the school making like sauces or something like this. I, I really like using these kinds of pots because they heat nice and fast. It could be a hat. I promise I will wash this. Guys, Her favorite part is, waiting. <laughs> is this not adorable? Would you just look at this? I love like the fan design around it. I'm not gonna be wearing these, but I actually picked these up because I think they'll make uh, good backdrop items or just things to like scatter around when I'm taking food pictures of like certain types of food and it would make it look a little fancy. So we have white, 
and red. Ooh, and a long strand of pearls. And some more pearls. And some shinier pearls. And some pink ones. And some more pink ones. I think they're so fancy. And more plates. These are the Corel plates. I've heard really good things about these, like they never break or anything like that, but I've never used them. Eight Corel plates. Wish we would have had this whenever we were doing our caramel apples. Yes, we did the Salvation Army trip like two days, two or three days after we recorded the caramel apple episode, and this would have been so fantastic. It's the perfect shape for the apple and it has like a little dipper tool I think I would probably still want to use like the sticks in the apple because this is super flimsy I don't that that would be useless and then it has a lid in case you need to store it if you don't use it all probably tell what this is <laughs> it's more glass balls that's what it is oh look it's a little plate how cute I haven't went through any of this stuff since we went to the Salvation Army warehouse so it's all new to me so I'm super excited to rediscover everything I picked up. So both of these bowls are Pyrex bowls. Okay guys, this is a Pampered Chef large stoneware pan. I, I didn't go through and get pricing on all of this stuff. I could only imagine how much this is all worth, but this pan alone is $37. The, the cake carrier was 20, so we're at $57 just on those two items. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little silicone heart mold. How cute. There for a while I was making homemade soaps and this would have been perfect for that. But um, I don't know if this particular mold is oven safe. Sometimes silicone is oven safe, but these will make beautiful little cakes for Valentine's Day. This is a little Mexican cookbook. It's a miniature little cookbook. Oh my goodness, burritos of lamb and black bean. Potatoes with goat cheese and chipotle cream. I'm totally gonna have to make some of these recipes on the show because they look really yummy. Some of these items I'm showing, students would just come up and be like, hey, Rachel, this looks like something you would like. And this was actually one of the items that one of the students brought up and gave to me. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh, we have more strands of very cheap beads. <laughs> Yellow and black, another pink one, and another white one. They're, they're pretty though, aren't I they? Oh, they're pretty. Okay, thank That's you. <laughs> Okay, this next item, I was super excited when I found it. I've always wanted one of these and I just never broke down and bought it. I'm gonna have Hannah Google a price real fast while I show you. It's a little dirty where it was in the warehouse. I haven't had time to clean it off. What's it called again? But it's a bread maker. Like how cool is that? Like a free bread maker. And it has the paperwork and everything on the inside. It looks like it's never been used. I'm totally gonna have to do some practicing on this and do an episode. Okay, we found a bunch of different numbers online, some used, some new, but we're looking from anywhere about $60 to $80. So this is a nice little machine. So definitely gonna try that out soon. Yeah, this is gonna be for the school. I, I have no need of this here, but it's like a strainer, colander. It's Bobby Flay, so it's nice quality, but it was for free. Sorry if I keep reiterating the fact that all of this was free, but it's pretty exciting. Another pot. This is really nice. This is a heavy quality pot. It's like copper bottom. Uh, Crofton? I don't know that brand. But I'm, I'll have to check it out see how much it is. But that's perfect for the school. And I'll probably keep these little bowls here at the house. You like these? Yes. Yeah, I love the little handles. Because you can have something if you need to whisk it. A lid <laughs> it goes to this pot that's super nice okay we have a pyrex 9x13 pan very nice and this is an anchor 9x13 this has some like sticky tape residue on the side I'm gonna have to work to get that off this is actually not a 9x13 this is a little bit smaller but still a nice pan oh this is super cute it's a little snowman cookie tin yeah yeah I'm totally gonna have to make some truffles or cookies or something and give this to somebody i'm guessing this is some kind of fish spatula or or something i i don't know it's unique looking but 
I figured I'd get some use out of it. You ready? I don't know what she's gonna pull out of the bag next. Why did I get this? This looks like an antique. Oh my word. <laughs> I think I just got grab happy and was just like putting all kinds of stuff in my bag. This is like useless. Like the mesh part is like ripped and everything. Ew. What's next? <laughs> Another spatula. This could be useful. This is super thin. This would be good for getting cookies off of a tray to put in the snowman. This is perfect. A spoon. That's a cute shape. I like that. LNG stainless. Wouldn't it be cool if like some of these items are like antique and I become a millionaire from my like antique little duster thing? <laughs> Really? Wow. Wait, there's another one. Ah! <laughs> Two spoons. I think I was getting desperate. <laughs> Ew. But anyway. Oh, headphones. <laughs> Little fluffy headphones. Yeah, they're for the winter, but they connect to your phone. So they keep your ears warm and you can listen to your music. I'm all about listening to music, like 24-7. <laughs> How cute. Aww. Oh, I thought it said Wonder Woman. Woman. <laughs> well, they said Pioneer Woman. They look like an older edition. Like, yeah. You know. Um, oh, they. Superman. Sorry. I have no idea what she just said. But <laughs> these are super cute. We have a set, but it's one of her newer sets. And these will be perfect for uh, fall and Christmas because they're the darker colors. You have like the red and the green. And this, the darker interior. Oh, I really love Oh, that one's cute. I love the Pioneer Woman collection because it's so eclectic. There's just so many different prints and colors. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, this is Home and Garden Party. My mom used to sell this stuff, so this, this would be quite expensive. Like, all of their stuff was really expensive. And I got the matching other jar. <laughs> I guess this one looks more like a cookie jar than this one. I'm not sure. And a laundry basket that we put all of this stuff in. But that is all for the Salvation Army haul. I hope you enjoyed watching. I am definitely thrilled to have all of this stuff. It's super neat. And I will see you guys next time.